standing position. And as it's middle of the day and you may have had a fairly busy morning, let's just take a little bit of time to settle in on your mat. So you could come to the front of your mat. I'm just going to stay a little bit back so I'm not completely cutting my head off on the camera. Welcome to our Wednesday lunchtime or Wednesday Zoom yoga. For those of you that are um, catching the recording, we might be doing it in the evening. But let's just, so it could be the end of your day here. But we'll see. Let's close our eyes and just take a little bit of time here to settle in on your mat to arrive in the space. So what does that look like? That may look like you gently shift your weight from one foot to the other, or a little forward and back into your toes, back into the heels, soften a little through the knees, give your shoulders a roll up, back and down. Just gently draw that pubic bone up towards the navel so the tailbone dips a little towards the floor. Close down your eyes. And just take this opportunity to sink the soles of the feet a little further into the mat, into the floor. And connect with your breath. So what we're doing here is observing that nice gentle breath in and out through the nose. And I want you starting or to start here to make that connection as we inhale. There's this lovely opportunity to create space, to expand, to send that breath into every little crevice in your body, every little space awash with oxygen, expanding and filling. And then that softness as you exhale. So this kind of splendor, if you like, it's an expansion on the breath in. And as that breath leaves the body, that softness, and it could, it could actually feel, you could feel your rib cage expanding and then coming back in a bit like an accordion that's playing in and out with the breath. Maybe you feel your shoulders rise a little on your inhale, and that's okay, but see if you can more focus on the breath going a little down into the torso first and then an expansion through the front rather than a lifting up through the shoulders and a lifting up through the collarbone. So while you're observing your breath and you're feeling as if you've settled in, leaving your morning to one side or your day to one side and your whatever's come before this class, just let it wash away and try not to let your mind step into what you've got going on after this class. Just bringing your focus to the four corners of the map that you are on as best as you can. Take a scan through that physical body and see how it is feeling today. Whether there's little pockets of tension or tightness as you scan from head to toe and addressing those, noticing areas that are tense and tight, but equally noticing areas that are a little soft. Perhaps there's some a little bit of suppleness through the body that you've not noticed before in areas that you've not really scanned in the last day or so. It'd be nice if we could get into this practice of scanning through the physical body every day just to check in and notice how it is feeling. And, and a little bit of movement here is always a good thing as well, because just gently moving your head from side to side or a little up and down movement or a little roll of the shoulders can sort of bring awareness to parts of the body that are calling out, if you like, or having this gentle conversation with you, trying to get your attention so that you do wrap a little bit of extra awareness around those body parts. 
And just know that anything that does arise, wrapping awareness around that, just know that nothing we do in our class is compulsory. So it's all completely voluntary. So something doesn't feel quite right for you as we come into a pose or a flow, then ease back and come and sit into child's pose. Child's pose is always available for you at any time of the class. Stay there as long as you need to, go there as often as you like, and just take some breaths, regroup, regather, and join back in as you feel ready. So we're going to come back to our breath now. Deepen that breath a little more, taking this diaphragmatic or deep belly or yogic breath, it's often called, where we, with eyes closed down, as we take our next inhale in through the nostrils, follow the breath down the back of the throat, through the lungs, all the way down into your belly and feel that expansion from there. The front, the back and the sides of the belly expand and as that breath continues to rise up into the chest, there's a little lift of the collarbones at the peak of the inhale and expansion through the ribs. And then as we exhale, breath leaves the top of the lungs, the bottom of the lungs, the diaphragm muscle shifts up just a little. And as that breath leaves the belly, that navel draws softly in towards your spine. So take maybe two or three more of these breaths in your own time. A nice slow breath, not forcing the breath, but slowing it down and deepening it as best you can, bringing it down into that belly area, feeling that expansion front, back, side. And letting that expansion continue to rise as the breath rises all the way into your chest. And that nice, slow release on the exhale. And someone's decided to use a power drill. I don't know if you can hear it. <laughs> Hopefully that won't continue for the whole class. One more breath. Now, as you take your next inhalation, Peel the eyes open, bring the hands towards the ceiling. Keep them shoulder width. I want you to turn and look over your right side, soften the knees, and as you exhale, fall down over the right side. Let the fingers brush over the mat to the left. And then inhale, slide the hands, let them just run along the legs all the way up to the top. And as you exhale, float back down the right side, soften the knees. Brush the fingers along the mat to the left. Inhale and slide the hands off the left side of the leg, brushing the fingers across the ceiling. And exhale down to the right side. This is just a nice way to float and flow into our flow today. Inhale. Now, as you come all the way to the top here, let the hands meet in prayer and then exhale. Take a forward fold to the front of the mat. Inhale, find your halfway lift, hold here. So hands are on your shins. And we just take this first moment to press the palms of the hands into the shins. So sitting below the knees, keep a nice flat back here. Let's send the glutes to the back of the room, feeling that nice stretch through the backs of the legs. Take a breath in and as you breathe out, release the hands to the floor here and take a little bit of pedaling movement, letting your weight gently shift from one leg to the other. So straightening into the leg that you're shifting the weight into, bending into the opposite. You could inhale to come back through center and exhale to bend through that one leg. Inhale through center, exhale through the other. And then come back through center. Use your next inhale just to lift back to that flat back. Exhale, chest towards the thighs. And then let's step that right leg to the back of the mat. Nice big long runner's lunge. Can we drop down through the back knee? Inhale to lift the arms. Exhale, just soften through the shoulders. Reach the fingers nice and tall. Right knee drawing forward, left heel drawing back. Take a nice deep breath in, perhaps you gaze towards the ceiling. And then exhale, release the hands to frame the front foot. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. With your next inhalation, we step to the front of the mat. 
Exhale the chest down onto the thighs and then take that nice slow spiral roll. As you inhale, bring the hands to reach for tall mountain pose and exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Now we're going to take that flow again. So let's inhale. Hands stay shoulder width towards the ceiling. Ex as you exhale, fall down over the left side. Soften the knee. Let the fingers brush over to the right. And then inhale, we slowly rise on that right side. Let the fingers brush over the ceiling. Soften the knee. Exhale, fall down over the left, brushing the fingers to the right. Inhale and slowly fold. Feel like you're kind of painting the ceiling with your fingertips. Exhale over the left. Soft knee, soft knee. Fingers brush along the mat. Inhale. On the right side. Exhale down to the left. Brushing your fingers across to the right. Inhale, folding up the right side. Hands meet in prayer here. Exhale, take that forward fold once again down onto the mat. Inhale to your halfway lift. Let the hands come halfway up the shin. So we create this nice flat back here in this Ardha Uttanasana. Take your breath in, press the palms a little further into the tops of those shins. And then exhale, release the hands back down onto the mat. And let's step that left leg to the back of the mat. Nice big long runners lunge, drop down through the back knee. Inhale to lift the arms. And exhale, just relax the shoulders, reach the fingers nice and tall. Left knee drawing forward, right heel drawing back. Take a nice deep breath in. And then on the breath out, release the hands to frame the front foot. Tuck the back toe, lift the back knee. And with our breath in, we step to the front of the mat. Exhale, chest down onto your thumb. Take that nice, slow spinal roll. As we inhale, bring the hands to meet in prayer. And exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Inhale, lift the arms. Let your fingers just touch this time. Exhale, let the right hand slide down to the right side of the thigh or the knee. Inhale, back through center, fingers touch. Exhale, left hand slides down to the left side. Let's go again. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. So let's come back to your center with an inhale. As you exhale, forward fold back down onto your mat. Keep your right hand on the mat this time. Soften your knees a little. On your next inhalation, straighten the left leg. Take the left arm up towards the ceiling. On the exhale, release the left arm, bend back into the left leg, left hand stays on the mat. Inhale, straighten the right leg, right arm lifts towards the ceiling. Exhale to lower. Let's go again. Inhale, straighten the left leg, bend into that right leg, left arm lifts. We revolve this little ragdoll pose. Exhale to lower. Soften into both of the legs. Left hand stays on the mat. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale to lower. Let's inhale, find that halfway lift, that nice flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Right leg steps to the back of the mat. Nice big long runner's lunge. Drop down through the back knee. This time we'll take a little warming flow for the legs. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, bring the hands down. Slide the hips back. Take a breath in here. On the exhale, come forward. Inhale, draw the left arm up towards the ceiling so we rotate once again. Exhale to lower. Inhale, lift the arms, nice low lunge. Exhale, bring the hands down to frame the front foot, slide the hips back to the Ara Hanuman. Come forward with your next breath in and take that left arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, release the left arm. 
And then inhale back to find that nice low lunge. Exhale, the hands come down. Slide the hips back to that Ardha Hanuman. Come forward with an inhale, lift that left arm. Exhale, release the left hand. And let's just slide back now, find that halfway or that half split pose, just to give the hamstrings a slightly deeper stretch here. So can we walk our hands a little further to the front of the mat so we work with a nice stretch through the upper back and the back of the shoulders. Draw the toes back towards the shin here. Press the heel of that left foot firmly into the mat. Maybe walk the hands forward a little more. Take one more breath. And then let's shift that weight back into that left foot. Come forward here, tuck your toes on the right leg. Lift that knee. And with the breath in, we'll step ourselves to the front of the mat. Exhale the chest down onto the thighs. Take that nice slow spinal roll with that inhale. Feel bone step on bone. Hands meet for that tall mountain pose. And can we exhale, let ourselves forward fold, back down onto the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Left leg this time steps to the back of the mat. Nice big long runners lunge drop down through the back knee. Inhale, nice low lunge. Exhale, the hands come down. We slide the hips back. And then coming forward with our next breath in. Left hand stays on the mat, right arm lifts towards the ceiling. Exhale, release that right arm. Inhale back, low lunge. Exhale, the hands come down. Slide the hips back, peeling the foot off the mat, toes back towards the shin. Come forward with that inhale, left hand stays on the mat, right arm lifts towards the ceiling. Exhale, release the right arm. One more time, inhale, nice low lunge. Exhale, the hands come down. Hips slide back, toes draw back towards the shin. Come forward with that inhale, left hand stays on the mat, right arm lifts towards the ceiling. Exhale, release the right arm, let's slide the hips back so the hamstring gets a little bit of a deeper stretch here. Toes draw back towards the shin. Hands walk a little further out to the front of the mat. Feel the chest coming forward just a little. Drawing the toes back towards the shin. Pressing that heel firmly into the mat. And then let's shift the weight back into that right leg. And let's slide that knee back behind us. So we come to our tabletop. Knees under hips, hands under shoulders, and just take a little side to side move here. Turn and look over the right shoulder, feeling the right rib cage draw towards the right hips and then change to the left hip. Just a little wag the tail kind of movement. And then come back to a nice neutral spine and take a few rounds of your Cat and cow breath, letting the belly drop, chest come forward on the inhale and rounding through the spine, pressing the floor away on the exhale. And doing that again, let's take three or four in our own time. It's nice here if you close down your eyes and really sink and connect into the movement through the body with the breath. Feeling as you breathe in that belly dropping, that chest coming forward, the palms of the hands drawing back towards the knees and then pressing the floor away on that breath out, rounding a little through the spine. And then let's find that nice neutral spine from here. Walk your hands a hand length out in front here. Let's shift forward to find a nice low plank on the breath in. Tuck the toes and on the breath out, come back to your 
active child's pose. This time, come forward as you inhale and halfway lower as you exhale. And then press the floor away on the inhale. Slide back to that active child's pose on the exhale. Let's go again. Inhale to come forward. Halfway lower on the exhale. Press the floor away on the inhale. Slide back to that active child's pose. We're coming all the way onto the mat now. So inhale to come forward. Exhale, slowly lower. See if you can get your chin on the mat first. And then start to slide your chest and then your belly down. We're gonna bring our hands out in front and find our sphinx pose. Elbows under shoulders, forearms, palms of the hands on the mat or the floor. Inhale and lift your gaze here. Draw your elbows back towards your rib cage. On the exhale, can you bring your chin to chest, your navel to spine and round or body hollow a little here? So inhale, let the chest come forward. Gaze forward or eye gaze to the ceiling. And then exhale, curl and round into that body hollow. One more time. This is really good to work your transverse abdominals. Exhale to curl. So find your next in-breath that leads you back to your sphinx pose. And then on the out-breath, lower the chest back down onto the mat. Slide the hands underneath the shoulders. Tuck toes, lift through that nice low plank with your breath in. On the breath out, lift the knees off the mat, keep them bent and send the buttocks towards the wall behind you. So we're in the kind of floating child's pose or bent knee downward dog. From this position, Let's start to let one heel at a time lower towards the mat. So we transition from our floating child pose into our downward facing dog, our Ardha Mukha Svanasana. And I want you to do this really mindfully. So inhale, lift onto your toes. As you let one heel come down, feel the stretch through the calf into the hamstring. Really take some time to bring awareness to the backs of the legs here. So merely, not just going through the motions, really connecting with the backs of the legs and the movement and the breath. One more each side, each leg. And then let's lift up onto our toes and draw the heels to the right, bend the knees and press the floor away. And then lift back up onto our toes or the ball of the feet, bring the heels to the left, bend the knees and press the floor away. And then come back through center through our downward facing dog. Let's inhale, come forward, find a plank, high or low here. And on the exhale, shift back or slide back to your down dog. And let's do that again. Inhale to come forward. Exhale, lift back. One more time, but we're gonna come all the way to the mat this time. So come forward, find your plank, high or low, hold for a breath. I wanna make sure that if you're in a high plank, your hips aren't sagging towards the floor, lift up and away. Make sure that there's a little bit of rounding or upper doming through the upper back. Take a breath in. On the breath out, slowly lower. Can you again go chin, chest, belly, slide forward just a little, untuck the toes. Hands a fraction wider than your shoulders now. Shoulders down away from your ears, hug the elbows in and peel your chest off the mat as you inhale, find your cobra. Let's exhale and float back down. Two more, two more. Inhale, feel like you're leading with the back of your neck here. Squeeze the glutes together. Exhale and lower. One more time, inhale, hold on this one. As you exhale, soften a little through the shoulders, hug the elbows and squeeze your glutes together. Take one more breath in and let's lower on that breath out. Hands under shoulders, tuck your toes, lifting through that plank, high or low with an inhale. Exhale back, find your downward facing dog. 
And just take a moment to check that your feet are hip distance. Your hands are shoulder width, your fingers are spread nice and wide. Pressing into the index finger knuckle and thumb knuckle can take some stress out of the wrist for you here. Draw the chest back towards the thighs, the heels melt towards the floor. Try to melt the heels down low, but it doesn't matter if they don't touch the mat. Mine don't and possibly never will. It's okay. It's not important or essential. Let's now look between our hands and we can walk or step or jump our feet to the front of the mat with our next breath in. And on the breath out, rest the chest down onto the thighs and take a nice slow spinal roll to take us back to our tall mountain pose. Hands meet in prayer. Exhale, hands to the heart and just hold for a breath, just one breath here before we take our next flow. So inhale, lift the arms. Perhaps we swan dive this time, arms out wide, flatten the back, tip from the hips, bend the knees as much as you need to. Inhale to that Ardha Uttanasana, flat back. Exhale, Uttanasana. Right leg steps to the back of the mat. Nice big long runner's lunge. Keep the right knee lifted. Inhale, lift the arms towards the ceiling. Exhale, sink into your Anjaniyasana, bend into that front leg. Now we're going to move a little here. Inhale, straighten through the front leg. Exhale, sink down. And again, inhale. And exhale. So one more time, inhale. On the exhale this time, can we bring our hands all the way behind the buttocks, interlace the fingers, draw the hands towards the floor, lift up and away from the buttocks. Feel the shoulders come back, draw the collar, draw the collarbones, widen the collarbone. Shoulder blades drawing in towards the spine. Bring awareness to the right foot, press into the ball of the foot with the heel, slide it back a little, engage the hamstring. Maybe you send your gaze towards the ceiling, depends on how your neck is feeling. One more breath in. And then on the breath out, let's release the hand to frame the front foot. And from here, we can slide those hips back just a little. Now on your next inhale, come forward, bend back into that right leg, bring the pelvis nice and close towards the mat. And then exhale, slide back, straighten that left leg. Do that again, inhale, nice and close, nice and close. Exhale back. We'll go one more time. Inhale to come forward. Now, as you exhale back, hold here. Feel that nice stretch down the back of that left leg. Draw the right heel towards the mat. Maybe you lift that foot off the mat, the left foot, and draw the toes back towards the shin to create a slightly deeper stretch through the back of the leg. Not essential, just an option. Let's release that foot back down, bend into that left leg, but keep your right hand on the mat and inhale, take the left arm up towards the ceiling. So we're pressing firmly through the right palm, drawing that left shoulder back just a little, drawing the left knee in towards the midline of the mat. A nice open or involved lunge here, nice openness through the chest. Take a breath in. And on the breath out, let's release the left hand. Slide now that left leg to the back of the mat. Find your plank, high or low, your choice. Knees up, knees down. Take a breath in. Slowly lower on the breath out. Hands a fraction wider than your shoulders. Inhale, find your cobra, your bhujangasana. Exhale, fold back down. Hands under shoulders, tuck your toes, lift through your plank. High or low with an inhale. Exhale back, find your downward facing dog. Look between your hands, walk, step. You can take little steps, you can jump, you can walk to the front of the mat with your inhale. Exhale, chest down onto the thighs. Bend the knees, arms out wide, flatten the back, reverse the swan dive with an inhale. Hands meet in prayer, exhale, hands to the heart. 
Let's go again. Inhale. Lift the arms. Exhale, swan dive down onto your mat. Inhale, find your halfway lift, your Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Left leg this time steps to the back of the mat. Nice big long runner's lunge. Keep the knee lifted. Inhale. Lifting through the arms. Exhale, sink down into our Anjani Asana. Now on the inhale, we're going to straighten through the front leg. And exhale, sink a little lower. And do that again. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale, allowing the hands to come behind us, interlacing the fingers. Drawing the hands towards the floor, lifting up and away from the buttocks. Shoulders come back, collarbones broaden. Bring awareness to the ball of the left foot. Press a little into the mat. Lift the heel, slide it back, engage the hamstring. As you open up through the shoulders, perhaps you send that gaze towards the ceiling. A little tuck of that left hip up and under. One more breath. And then let's release the hands to frame that right front foot. Straighten that right leg as you send the hips back. We're going to come forward with an inhale. Bring that pelvis nice and close to the floor. And then exhale to slide back. Nice and slowly, do that again. Inhale to come forward. Exhale to slide back. Left heel reaching for the floor behind us. Last time, inhale to come forward. Exhale, slide back. Hold here. So left heel's reaching for the floor. Option to peel the right foot off the mat, drawing the toes back towards the shin. Getting that nice deep stretch through the back of that right hamstring. One more breath. And then slowly bringing that right foot back down, bending back into the right leg. Left hand stays on the mat. Inhale, take the right arm up towards the ceiling. Pressing firmly through that left palm. Right knee drawing to the midline of the mat. Right hand lifting towards the ceiling. Take a breath in, on the breath out. Release the right hand to frame the front foot. Can we slide the right leg to the back of the mat? Find your plank, high or low. Take a breath in, slowly lower to the floor with your breath out. Let's this time bring the hands out in front here. We're gonna take a little opposite hand and opposite leg lift here. So can you lift your arm, your left arm, thumb towards the ceiling, fingers reaching forward, and then lift your right leg. Reach the fingers on the left hand as far as you can to the front of the room, the toes, point the toes on that back leg. Take a deep breath in, and on the breath out, lower both the arm and the leg. Right arm lifts now, left leg. Point the toes on the left leg, Fingers reach forward, thumb towards the ceiling. Take a nice deep breath in, stretching as far as you can, forward through the fingers and back through the toes. Take a deep breath in. Slowly lower on that breath out. Let's try both at a time. Arms face forward, lift the arms, lift the legs. Reach forward, reach forward, reach back through the toes. Take a deep breath in. On the breath out, let's lower to the mat. You can bring your hands to the sides of the body, turn your face to the left, right cheek on the mat, and just take a little, a little breather here, letting your heart rate slow down. Sometimes back bends can cause quite an acceleration through our heart. So to use the breath to slow it down just a little. And then when you feel ready, turn your face or chin back to the mat, slide your hands underneath your shoulders, tuck toes, lift through your plank, high or low with an inhale. Exhale back, find your downward facing dog. And just take a little pedal through the feet here. We're gonna to come to a warrior one flow. 
I'm going to just turn front on so you can see what I'm doing with my legs and how wide we need to go. So from here, from your down dog, can you inhale and take your left leg up towards the ceiling? Bend the knee. Exhale, draw the knee to chest and step that foot between your hands at the front of the mat. Now what we're going to do here is bring the right foot in just a little and drop the heel. But heel toe this left foot nice and wide to the edge of your mat. So normally we're hip distance, but we want to go a little wider here for warrior one. Now when you're ready, pressing into that left leg, inhale to lift the arms, and then exhale, sink down into warrior one. So what's important here for warrior one is that our hips are facing the front. So if you're facing the side, you might adjust your stance a little. Maybe you need to go a little wider. Maybe you need to draw that heel on the right foot back a little more. Just check your hips are nice and straight. And we're in our warrior one. So take a nice deep breath in. On the breath out, can you sink a little deeper? Drop a little deeper through that left knee. Feel as if you're pressing the right outer blade, the outer blade of your right foot and your pinky toe firmly into the mat. Soften your shoulders here. And perhaps send your gaze towards the ceiling in this warrior one. Soften shoulders, lift the chest, brace the core. Think a little bit of energy through the outer blade of the right foot into the pinky toe. And then slowly send your gaze forward. As you inhale, can we straighten through that left leg? And on the exhale, we're going to come forward. Hands can either sit on the thigh above the knee, on the shin below the knee, or framing the front foot if that's available to you. And now we're in our pyramid pose, also called Pajva Tonasana. So we still have weight into the outer blade of the right foot, into the pinky toe. Both legs are straight here. So let's see if we can just spend a little bit of time breathing into this pyramid pose, bringing that chest a little closer to the front thigh. Letting your head hang a little heavy. And the option here is to revolve this pyramid. We would keep the right hand on the mat and inhale and take the left arm up towards the ceiling. Not a very comfortable pose for some. See how it feels, it's just an option. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out, if you did revolve the pyramid, bring that left hand back down onto the mat. Now we're gonna take a standing splits pose here. So we're gonna soften and bend into that left leg and walk our hands a little further out so we can take that right leg off the mat. And then when you're ready, straighten back into that left leg and walk your hands back towards the foot. We're going to hold for three breaths in this standing splits pose. Draw the right heel up towards the ceiling. Draw your chest in towards the front of the left thigh. Slowly bring your gaze forward. Bend and soften into that left leg. As your hands walk back towards that left foot, let your right foot touch down again behind you and slide it back a little and heel toe your left foot back into the center of the mat because we made it that little bit wider. And then can we from this point slide your left leg back? Oops, my mat has just come up a bit. Find your plank. I'm just going to turn side on once again. Find your plank here, high or low. Take a breath in. Slowly lower to the mat on the breath out. And let's take the right arm out to the side. Bend your left leg. Roll over onto your right side, bringing that left foot to touch down behind you. Just a little hip opening here. We haven't done much hip opening in today's class, so let's take an opportunity 
to open a little through the hips and work a little more into the chest and the shoulders. You could bring your left hand onto that left hip or to the small of your back here. Yeah. And there's an option here to take hold of the top of that left foot and kick back. Drawing the shoulder back, opening into the chest. One more breath. If you did take hold of the foot, to release that foot back down onto the mat or the floor. Bring that left hand back onto the mat as well. And can we close that left hip back down? Straighten the leg, slide the right hand back up underneath the shoulders, tuck your toes, lift through your plank. High or low with an inhale. Exhale back and find your downward facing dog. And you can take a little pedal here or you could come to child's pose. Let's hold either one, child's pose or down dog, for three breaths. We're about to take that flow now to the right side. So if you're in child's pose, come back to your downward facing dog. And from our down dog, we can inhale, take the right leg up towards the ceiling, bend the knee, exhale, draw the knee to chest, shifting the weight forward, stepping that foot between our hands at the front of the mat. Now we're gonna step the left leg in, half or three quarters of a step and drop the heel, and then heel turn the right foot to the edge of the mat, nice and wide. Bend into that right leg, inhale, lift the torso, and exhale, sink down. So straight up, I can feel that my hips are not straight. So I need to make a little adjustment through the back foot and go a tiny bit wider. So I'm sliding my heel back. Now my hips feel straight. Inhale, lengthen through the torso, or bring the arms up and exhale, sink a little more into that warrior one. Now we're sending energy to the outer blade of the left foot. Pressing little pinky down into the mat. Softening again through the shoulders, reaching the fingers nice and tall, maybe sending the gaze towards the ceiling. Lifting through the chest. And then let's send the gaze forward. And as you inhale, straighten through the front leg, tipping from the hips on the exhale, we fold forward. Maybe hands are on the thigh above the knee or the shin below the knee or framing the front foot for our pyramid pose. Both legs are straight here. And we can work with the breath to bring the chest. Maybe the chest lies down over the front thigh and the forehead comes to the shin. Just see how close you can get here. But remember, there's always a slight forward move with the chest before we lower it down. We're always tipping from that hip crease that sits below the hip bone. Option to revolve your pyramid left hand can stay on the mat and you might inhale, take the right arm up towards the ceiling. Take a nice deep breath in and on the breath out, release the right hand back to the mat if you did revolve. We're gonna bend into that right leg, walk the hands a little further in front. Take the left leg off the mat, straighten into that right leg and lift that left leg up behind us. Walk the hands a little back towards that right foot, standing splits here. Lift that back leg as high as you can. Bringing the chest again nice and close to that right thigh. And then sending the gaze forward, softening into that right leg, letting the left leg start to lower. We might walk the hands back a little more, slide the left leg back. Walk the right foot back between our hands, hands frame either side of the foot. Slide the right leg to the back of the mat. Find your plank, high or low. Take your breath in. On the breath out, lower down. 
Left hand comes out to the side. We bend the right leg, roll onto that left side. Right foot touching down behind you. Maybe right hand comes to the hip or the small of your back. Or you might take hold of the top of the foot and just kick back into the hand. Let's release that foot now if you did take hold of it. Bring the right hand back onto the mat. Close that right hip back down. Straighten the legs, slide the left hand back in. Lift through a low plank as you inhale. On the exhale, come back to find your child's pose. Just take a breath or two in your child's pose before we move on. We're gonna stay in a we're going to stay near our mat, so we're not coming back to a standing position. We'll make our way down onto our back. So with your next breath in, lift yourself back through tabletop and draw one knee at a time towards your wrists at the front of the mat. Cross your ankles, sit back on your mat. Can you bring your hands behind though and just bring your feet out in front? So bent knees and feet are hip distance. And just straighten your left leg, cross your right ankle over your left leg and then bend that left leg once again. So from here we play a little. You might start to walk your buttocks towards the heel or draw the heel in towards the buttocks and walk your hands a little closer. We're just looking for a stretch through the right glute here and lift through the chest and keep drawing that right knee out to the side. So maybe you come in really close and maybe you walk your hands in a lot closer as well. Or maybe you're, you're just here, that's okay, that's okay. One more breath, one more breath. and then walk your way back, yeah? So bring the, the buttocks back, bring the hands back, straighten eventually through that left leg and let the right foot touch down, draw the toes of the left foot back and then hug that right knee in. Bring the right hand behind you, inhale, lift and lengthen here and exhale. We're gonna turn to the right, let your chin, or let your shoulder, I should say, turn first, drawing the rib cage and chest and lastly your head and neck turn. So keep drawing the toes of your left foot back. Inhale, lift and lengthen through the spine, creating that elongation and creating space and then exhale, turn, shoulder, rib cage, chest and lastly the head. Use your next breath in to guide your head and neck back to center rest of the body can follow. And just draw the right knee in and slide it out and give the legs a little bit of a shake. So we're gonna now draw the left knee in, cross that left leg over the right leg. Bring your hands behind and bend that right leg now. So we're on the other side, working into a nice opening through this left glute. Make those adjustments, maybe you walk your hands in, Maybe you walk the heel back, maybe you slide the buttocks forward. All we're looking for here is a deeper stretch through the left glute, the outside of the glute. Keep that knee out to the side, lift the chest. One more breath. And then just start to make your way back. Slide the buttocks back, walk the hands back, straighten the right leg and let the left foot touch down and hug that left knee in with the right hand. Left hand comes behind. Lift and lengthen with your breath in. Shoulder, rib cage, chest. Lastly, the head and neck. Turn to the back with your breath. So each inhalation is that lifting and lengthening through the crown of the head and the spine. 
and each breath out, we work a little deeper into the chest. So inhale now, bring your head and neck back to center, rest of the body can follow and just hug that left knee in and then slide it out, give the legs a little bit of a shake. So from here, let's inhale, lift the arm and exhale, slowly lower down onto your mat. Drawing one knee at a time in towards the chest and letting yourself just take a little rock and roll from side to side along the mat first and then bring your hands onto your knees and start to circle the knees. We're looking for a little massage through the glutes and lower back. So take a couple in one direction and then pause and change as you feel ready. And then pause with the knees in towards the chest and let then the feet touch down, arms come out to the side. I want you to lift your hips, slide them a few centimeters to the right, cross your right leg over your left leg and let those cross legs just gently fall to the left. Perhaps you keep your head in a neutral position or maybe you turn it to the right. And in this particular twist through the spine, we have an opportunity to work into a nice stretch through the top glute as well. So if you start to gently squeeze your legs together, you'll notice that will generate a stretch through the glutes. Close down your eyes and just breathe deeply into the belly. Let's slowly bring that head back to the center, rolling back onto our back. Uncross those legs and lift the hips, slide them a few centimeters to the left now. And can we cross the left leg over the right leg and take those cross legs gently to the right? Head can stay neutral or you might turn it to the left. Close down your eyes. Notice again how if you just squeeze a little more through the legs, you'll get this little, little stretch through the top of that left glute. Let's roll back onto our backs now and uncross those legs and lift the hips, draw them back into the center. Let's heel to our feet to the edge of the mat and just take a little windscreen wiper action with the legs here. You can turn your head in the opposite direction to the legs. Coming back through center, draw the knees back into the chest, wrap the arms around the shins, and this time lift your head and shoulders off the floor. So you're drawing your forehead and knees as close as you can towards each other, softening the shoulders. Take a nice deep breath in. And on the breath out, lower the head and shoulders first and then lower your feet to the floor and extend one foot at a time to the bottom of the mat. Let your feet open out to the side. Arms come to the sides of the body, flip the palms so palms face the ceiling. Close down your eyes and let yourself just settle into our final pose, our Shivasana. Acknowledging now that all of the work has been done, that there's nothing left for you to do here just to be on your mat, allowing all the gifts and all of the goodness that our practice of yoga has to offer to be fully received, to be absorbed and integrated into the body. So let yourself soften, relax your jaw, 
Soften the tongue so it just sits gently on the bottom of the mouth. Relax through the shoulders, through the neck, through the chest, down the upper arms, into the forearms, the wrists. Each individual finger just pressing firmly down into the mat. Feeling that upper back, middle, lower back connect a little more, allowing a softness through the torso, internal organs softening, muscles starting to feel like they're melting away off the bone. Softening through the hips, pelvis, glutes, thighs, knees, shins, calves. Feeling the feet just open out to the side and kind of feeling this level of as if the body has released this inaudible sigh, it's just, ah. There's an openness through the body and a softness through the body. Allowing any thoughts that you have, just allowing them, giving them permission to rise up. Not forcing them down or trying to stop your thoughts or trying not to think. Welcoming them. And they lose this sense of demanding power when you welcome them in. It's almost like they've, oh, she's not trying to stop me from coming into her space. Huh. And they just kind of dissolve away and settle in and don't carry as much importance. It's an interesting process. You can start now to just allow your breath to start to deepen somewhat. So you bringing awareness back to your space on the mat. And then let that awareness expand to the four corners of the mat that you are on. To the four corners of the room that you are in. Start to notice little sounds around you. Let the sounds of the outside world just gently drop or ebb and flow in and out. And then allow the sound of the bells to gently guide you back to your physical position, back on your mat.
and start to invite some little flickers of movement and energy back into your fingers and your toes. You might rotate your wrists and ankles. Perhaps let your head gently move from side to side, just allowing this energy to start to flow back and around in your body. When you're ready, extend your arms overhead so fingers reach for the wall behind and toes point to the wall in front. And just take a nice deep breath in here, letting your body become as long as it possibly can. Feeling yourself now re-emerge, re-entering into your day. And when you're ready, bend your knees and make your way over to your favorite side. So you're resting your head and your upper arm and your forearm with eyes closed down. Take a little bit of time here so you can fully integrate everything that you've received from your practice today with the physical body, the mental, emotional, spiritual, energetic, whatever resonates with you here, just bringing it all back, integrating so you can fully embody for the rest of your day all these lovely gifts, all the goodness. And as you feel ready, start to very slowly, mindfully make your way back up to a comfortable seated position. There's no hurry here. Keeping your eyes closed down, bring your hands into prayer. So thumbs just rest gently in on your sternum. Relax the shoulders, crown of the head reaches nice and tall. Just observe and notice how you're feeling now at the end of the class. Today was one of those days where I knew my body and mind needed to practice yoga. Maybe the same for you. Drop into your heart space. I'll just leave you with a little meta prayer. May you be well. May you be healthy. May you be happy. May you be at peace. May you live with ease and grace. May all beings be well. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be happy. May all beings live with ease and grace. May we all live together with ease and grace and flow. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Have a really, really lovely rest of your day. If you'd like to join me in closing the class, we put together chant one on and three shanties and you're welcome to unmute yourself here so we can hear each other. I'll give you a moment to do that if you choose. And then when you're ready, take a nice deep breath in. Oh. Take another inhale. Shanti. Shanti, Shanti. Thank you, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you. Oh, Amanda, I haven't seen you for.